Somebody just knocked on the place. Somebody, somebody just knocked on the door. For real. Welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration. Guys, tonight I have a special treat for you. I have Jody Dean from Hunting the Dead. Guys, if you haven't already checked him out, please do so. Please comment, like, and subscribe. He's got an awesome channel. Now, so many people in the past have asked me, wow, you got you really should take Jody Dean to Poltergeist Trailer. Now, it's just before dark. We just got here. I think this place is fantastic. We captured so many, uh, so many things here in the past, and I'm really anxious to see Jody's reaction to Poltergeist Trailer. Guys, you guys are coming along. Love you. Peace. All right, guys, as usual, we're starting out. We're going to go different directions. And uh, we just did Jody's intro in this mirror, and I was commenting that what's weird about this mirror is I always feel like I could see clearly, obviously, it's me, but my eyes never seem to be my own eyes looking back at me. It's weird. See, this mirror has me... Uh, like mesmerized almost. I really didn't want to leave that area, but I figured we might as well start seeing if there's any other hot spots here. So as you guys clearly can see, it's still daylight. It's about 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it should be getting dark here soon. All right, Jody's made it down to that end of Poltergeist trailer. And I'm gonna sit here for a minute. Hey Joe? Yeah bro. Did, did you notice that there, did you notice that there was a noose hanging here in the kitchen? I did. So that thing's been there for like the longest okay, time. Okay, so this has been here before. It's been here before. I, I a microwave underneath it. See the noose really can't, so that really couldn't support them. So I don't really know what that is, why it's here. Right, but it's uh, it's spooky. Yeah, it is really spooky because somebody put something there to stand on, and right. Yeah, but I agree. I mean, if somebody were to yeah you know, somebody... drop that, thing's gonna come right out of the ceiling. Yep. See, my light is loose. Let me try my light, guys. That's like easy here. So the first time I came to Poltergeist trailer in this hallway, a woman responded by saying, I always thought of like that movie, The Others, because her response was, why can't you see me? Almost like if she thought we were a ghost, if that makes sense. Let's start right here. And any spirits here? This room always was a hot spot. It's uh, kind of a tragic place because every time I come to I heard something. Something right here just said something, guys. So if you uh, if you have headset, <laughs> if you have a headset, or able to put it on and watch this, something just talked to me right here. Um, but the tragedy of this place is every time I come here, it's a little bit worse than it was the last time I was here. Hey, uh, Jody. Um, hey, did, is that your Dunkin' Donuts cup? Yes. Okay, because I was going to say there's still ice in it. I'm like, man, somebody was just yeah, here. No, okay. I, I just said it there when we were doing our walkthrough. 
Oh, okay, okay. Whew, I saw that ice in there. I was like, whoa. I'm going to shut this again to uh, block out any Heard noise. So, so I did pick up a voice already. You did? Yes, I was walking through that bathroom right over there, and something clearly came up to my ear and said something right over there. How about you? Go back there. That's kind of where, that's the direction I'm being pulled in, man. I didn't really feel a lot on this side. Okay. Not yet, at least. All right. Um, and yeah, that mirror. I'll let you walk back there so we have a little different footage, and then I'll meet okay. you back there. I'll try to walk around. So I'm really curious to see what Jody picks up here. Yeah, see, as soon as I, like, even earlier, as soon as I walk through the door, like, and I come in here, this is a whole different ballgame. I don't, I do know why. I'm going to say I don't know why. Because as soon as someone said, they can just look at the guy in this mirror recording that again. So far, it's been very, very quiet, except for one voice. See, it looks like people rummaged through everything. Heads in the toilet bowl. So I always felt that this place had a woman and a man that would argue with each other here like spirits. <laughs> and, um, It's uh, it's salty here. Like, uh, like I feel emotion here, like anger. I just got a couple voices in here too, Joe. Oh, that's awesome, man. I'm telling you, that, that back room has always been... As soon as I previous. touched the mirror... Did you uh, touch the mirror? I yeah. never. I haven't touched it now. Can, can we both just touch it together? And As soon as I touched it, I heard... It sounded like somebody humming a tune behind me in the back okay. right corner. Dude... Ooh, it's weird. You know what? I, you know what I, why does it feel warm? It feels like sadness. You know what I was saying? You know that's so weird that you mentioned that because I was just walking through here and I said I feel I feel emotion here. Mm -hmm. Sadness is one of them, but I also feel anger here. Like when I was walking down the hall, mm -hmm. I felt like angry. It's weird. I could tell that when I was doing my intro, I felt like the anger roll off of you all of a sudden when you looked in this mirror. Yeah, it's. Uh, so we could be feeling many different emotions of things that are here. Yeah. It could be more than just the person that passed here. It could be things that have been brought here, especially that noose hanging in there. Um, why somebody did that? It's definitely, definitely an ominous thing. This thing is radiating with like a, a power. It felt very warm to me. Did you get a warm sensation? Very weirdly. It's usually a coldness. It was a warmness. It's a warmth, right? Yeah, right now even. Like, just like between me and the mirror. Between us, bro. Like, this is crazy. And this is exactly what you told me so, I would feel here. It's crazy, too, because step here, mm -hmm. it's very cold. Step towards the mirror, it's very warm. The closer you get to so the So right mirror, here, it almost feels like if there was an AC duct above us, mm -hmm. right, blowing cold air on us, then you come right, here. Which, as you guys can see, there's... And this is hot. See how close... Okay, so I'm about... It's interesting. 
about eight feet from the mirror. One, two, three, it's getting warmer. Four, five, it's really warm. Do you have your thermal, um, do you have your That's thermal crazy. camera? I do, I do have the thermal. Oh, We're gonna use that. Oh man, that would be kind of cool. That is amazing. Hey, yeah, listen. Something just went like. Uh, I can't tell. Was it over there? Or was it over there? And it sounded like it was over here. I heard something. I just don't know where it came from. That's cool. Hello? Ooh. Trying to get our attention? Or so this is awesome. I see. Yeah, this place has always like been a place that I've always felt. You know, a lot of times I'll say, "Hey, is a place haunted? Is it not haunted?" This place I feel is really haunted, and I always feel that. What happened, bro? Uh, I don't know. I heard something fall over. Well, obviously something loud just happened. I have no idea where it came from, though. Oh, that's freaky, man. See, that's where I just heard, uh... That's where I just heard a voice, or, like, a hiss. Huh. That's weird. See, I'm... Sitting here, I feel almost ice cold. And it's... Which I'm kind of enjoying because it's, it's normally <laughs> hot, but brutally hot We're by the mirror. I wonder if you know what I wonder if if I put this camera down and we just use the flashlight and maybe you're gonna get your thermal out or you uh, yeah. gonna do uh, no I'll do a, a quick thermal sweep. All right, so Jody's gonna do a thermal sweep. I'm curious to see the temperature fluctuation now. There is a temperature fluctuation Actually, from here to there. <laughs> here's what we're going to do. I'll use oh. the thermal, but let's use the actual temperature gauge real quick. Okay. And let's see if we can document that change. So, all right, I'm going to shut this light. Oh, I'm going to have to have it to see this, but just a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so... There is definitely a fluctuation in uh, temperature, especially heat, between me, Joe, and this mirror. So, I got my temperature gauge here. Let's see. 86. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Bro, it's like 70 degrees outside right now. Yeah, see? All right. 87. Oh, Joe, oh, wait, I'm we're going to document it, brother. All right, it's still 87. I'm this is why I do this, guys. 87 holding holding 88 see it is getting no over. way dude this is awesome okay come on it's getting hotter 89 whoa dude i'm so excited right now okay okay look at this what Let's is it see. gonna hit us can you go to 90 all right let's see i sorry guys i had to go to 90 i, I dare sure you capture this it started at 86 we feel it. It's like 100 degrees right here. Make it pop. Hit 90 for us. Come on. Whoa. Just shut off. Okay, yeah, it's okay. 88. And then as we walk back, though, this is the cool part. 87. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So there is a fluctuation there. So that's several degrees of difference. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. You know, I wonder if we just did like just the flashlight, mm -hmm. set up our cameras, and see what the spirit box has to say. You want to try yeah, that? Yeah, brother. I'm down. Sounds good to me. So last time I was here, we used the spirit box. See, I don't have a spirit box. I just use the necrophonic app. So the nice thing is Jody actually has a spirit box. Um, I was gonna say I have both, but um, we can. You, you want to let's use the spirit box, spirit box. Oh, dude, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever you, you know. See, the thing is, is with Jody's investigations, 
he brings so much to the table. Like he has all these, you know, ghost hunting tools. I usually don't do that, so it's pretty awesome that he has this box. I care and, about uh, I care about validating things in many different ways when especially when it's something that we're both hitting on. Right. You know, Absolutely, man. Me and you validate it, but then it shows it for the people. Like we just showed something. There is a little bit of a fluctuation there. Yeah, and, and it's a, it's a, it's 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 physically we can feel it. Right. And you know it's weird. My light, man. Oh yeah, you want to? So you want to? Let's go. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep this thing on. Let's do this. Yeah, you know what? There's another stool here, and maybe I could sit on the other side. And. Uh, And it's actually getting dark out, which is awesome. So oh, I think yeah. this place lights up at night for real, man. Now, Perfect. I can shut this and just go off this light right here. And all right, oh, this oh, perfect. is perfect. That's great. Okay. All right, now we're gonna try. Now, <clears throat> I'm curious to see now, before we turn this on, I, I, I've always had the belief that there's, I was telling Jody this earlier, that there's a man and woman who died here. Right. And that they, like kind of like the movie The Others, they always thought that we were the ghosts, if that makes sense. I've noticed that with a lot of places that are haunted, that the spirits right. feel like that They're way. wondering what we're doing here. Yeah, and I always think ask. the guy suppresses her. So you want to let's see if we can communicate with them. I wonder what the spirit box will bring up. That's Ask them awesome. if they know that they're yeah. on the other side or not. All right, Sounds so good, we're going to start this Back out. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of bring this over. Is there a man and a woman that lived here or is living here? Somebody just knocked on the place. Somebody, somebody just knocked on the door. For real. Who the hell knocked on the door? Is there anybody here? There's nobody here. There's nobody here? That was like a knock on the door. For real. What did it say? Was that you that made that noise in here? Oh, this heard something, bro. Wait, I'm not gonna... Hey, I think that just fell. Replay. Bro, that's awesome. Hey guys, we didn't catch, catch that on camera, but I, I heard something and that actually just fell. Was that you that did that? Did you touch it? I did? I don't know what that said, but I got chills right now. Did you have anything to do with that or the noise that we heard in here? What do you think That's that weird. said? I, I, I think it said Joe. Oh my God. Can you say my friend's name or my name, Joe or Jody? I'm gonna put this. Oh, this thing is disgusting. Okay, now that might have been what happened. Is that thing was leaned up against that? I think, and maybe it it, it could have been spiritual, but it could have just it could have just fell. I don't know, man. It's weird because I didn't even hear it fall over. You heard it fall I, over. I heard a little noise, and, and it sounded like it actually it sounded like it was coming from the doorway. Yeah, see, I heard knocks on the door. But Jody's right. It's possible that you see this floor is very soft, right? And it's possible that just us walking on it. I mean, we're not going to say paranormal, but yeah, it, I was going to say freaky. I don't want you guys to think it's paranormal. It could be, but I don't know, man. Because when you just when you just set it back up. It actually was sitting on that plastic, and it looked oh, like it was okay. going to fall again. So I'm wondering 
Yeah. And maybe us walking on the floor made it fall. And I just, I think that's, I mean, that's possible because you can look and the floor does move. Yep. All right, Especially guys, with so. me, I'm a big guy. <laughs> yeah, me too, brother. <laughs> what about, what about right, this so news right really here? Know about Is that. there somebody that was planning? Get out! It just said get out, bro. Did it really? It said get out. I heard. I thought it said no, bro, but it said get out. Here is day. Get out. Oh man. <laughs> Why do you want us to get out? We, we're not. We don't mean you no harm. We're just here to share your voice with our friends. You're my friend. Yeah, I think I heard it say we something about friends. We are your friends. We don't mean you no harm whatsoever. Do you really want us to leave? If so, we can leave right now. Just tell us to go. Hey, I'm gonna cut this off real quick, bro. Um, See, the thing I, is, I, I, I keep looking around, I keep hearing bangs coming from out there. That's where I thought I heard, when this, I get. I didn't even know this fell, but I thought I had heard a bang over here. Yeah, when I, I mean, turned around. That's what I thought. When we was. were in there doing the uh, doing the spirit box, mm -hmm. there were like bangs, like series of bangs on the side of this building. At least that's what I thought I heard. What did you hear? Something? Yeah, sound like a woman again. Hello. See, I think that she'll talk to us. I definitely. Who's that? Someone moved that time. I heard a sigh like. You know what's crazy, bro? Is I didn't I didn't record it when we were just doing the walkthrough, and you wanted me to do like a cult and just feel the place out. Right. I felt like somebody poked me in my side, and I was like. Maybe it's nothing. I'm always getting touched. As you're, you know, we just hear these little things. I just felt it again. See, I think that there's, um, I think there's a woman here that can actually communicate with us. Mm -hmm. And she's wondering why we're in her house. And I always thought. I would be doing this. We would be doing the same. That she probably sees this as when she lived here. Not like it is. You know what I mean? Not all trashed. And right. You know, and there's there's definitely trigger objects here of clothes. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, dresses and you know, there's blankets with uh, people drool when they sleep. You know, it could be right. blood on there. We we have no idea. I mean, there are parts of her besides her living here in those memories. In this house. There's actual things that connect her to this. I keep hearing what sounds like a subtle. Whisper. All right. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit, and um, that was weird, guys. It sounded like somebody was banging on the door, which has me concerned. Me and Jill have definitely uh, documented some things in here right now that I'm gonna go ahead and say. Um, I feel this place is every bit of what he told me it was, and I've been poked in my side a few times. It doesn't hurt, but it's definitely like somebody's So, <clears throat> I want to look at the footage because it's possible that this was unstable. In other words, it wasn't flush with the ground, and maybe from walking on this floor that is soft could have gave it its final little nudge it needed to fall over. Um, what's remarkable about this place is I do hear subtle voices and There was just something just now. Yeah? Yeah, I haven't seen a candle around here, have you? 
Um, I if haven't. If you find a candle, um, I believe you have a lighter. Yeah. We can do something with that mirror and possibly see these uh, spirits. That's a good point. You know what? I bet if we searched around here, there's a good possibility. I'm going to look for a, a candle real quick, guys. Are you trying to talk to us? I heard that. Was that the door again? I don't know. I heard something though. That sounded like. I'm glad you heard it, cause. You know how easy somebody could creep up on us at this place, man. Or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't see any candles. I see everything else. So I just heard something that sounded like it went Satan. Satan? Yeah, it sounded like a whisper that just went Satan. I was hoping to find a, a candle. I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, yeah. you said you thought you heard Satan. I thought I heard something go, Satan. Wouldn't it be crazy if the one thing we learn from our times investigating the paranormal, that every place we go to has a hint of demonic activity that maybe contributed to the death that happened there in the first place? You know, it's weird. I talked to my ex-father-in-law. Uh, and I was telling him, I was like, wow, I was really troubled about, like, the voices I was hearing, and it brought me to, like, this dark, weird place, you know. And he said, it's, he thinks it's called familiar spirits, almost like demons that, like, get to know you, that could, to, could pretend to be a woman in the house, could pretend, you know. And inevitably what it does is it gets to know you, it plays along with you. Like, in other words, if you come here and your thoughts are to, for example, um, pick up voices or something move it knows you well enough and inevitably it's trying to destroy you, you know? I, I believe there's a lot of meat to that bone I believe I believe a lot of that I, yeah. that's I've thought about this I've processed that over and over because it is unreal how many abandoned places we go to where we get an evil sounding voice where we get evil words and they say things that only a demonic entity trying really to get in your say. like subconscious right, right? And they make you feel angry. Sad. So, what, yeah, exactly. And I was literally walking right where you were, and I, I said that I felt angry. And, you know, there is a sadness here. Now, obviously, there's going to be a sadness because we're in an abandoned place, right? And there's, there's stuff left behind. Right. We're looking at how somebody's home has been trashed and, and left for dead. That's I'm there's thinking that. Right here. Yeah, and I'm thinking that. I always feel like there's a woman who watches me when I come in here and she's always wondering why I'm here. You know what I mean? She might be a good, she might be, you know, a, a, a normal good spirit. Yeah. But I think there is something lurking the land or maybe it's following me and you. <laughs> or we, you know, just, just being here like you just said, our intention. Well, you were talking. I thought was something. something there. Awesome. All right, so I don't think we're gonna find a candle, man. I don't either, brother. But you know what? I'm really curious, Jody. What do you, what do you think about like? So I had the familiar spirits theory, but Jody is so much so much more of an expert than I'll ever be in this field. So, what would you say? Would you say it's demonic? I'm curious. I wouldn't say it's a demonic infestation. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that there are evil entities of the demonic army everywhere scattered out everywhere mm -hmm. so when we come in here to give good spirits a voice they are going to be here to stop them from speaking because Ooh, they were I here like to stop them from living you know so what I'm do saying? you think that like when we hear things like just now i just heard like something satan. that i say satan do you think that's like trying to tell me like subliminally like 
trying to put that put me in a dark spot. You know what I mean? I think so. I I, I think that they know that that name strikes fear in most. But we're not running. Right. We're here, and they and they don't like that, and that's probably why they start to pursue you and make you more angry to poke right. me. You know, it, it's not hurting. Trying we're, to we're scare us. Yeah. And, and that it, bothers them more than us, you ooh, know, doing okay. anything. Well, you know what? I was wondering, so we don't have a candle. Right. But I'm wondering if we went back in there, put the light on very low. Or just go dark. And just see what we... I think people love it when we go dark, man, because a lot of people would not do that, especially in a place like this. Here's the deal, guys. So I have my camera shut off for a few minutes. I'm sitting here. It's, it's actually kind of cool here where I'm sitting. We were noticing by the mirror it's really hot, crazy thing, and I should have had my camera on, but I was letting Jody, um, Jody film for a little bit, and we heard, what sound, you gotta check out Jody's video for that, definitely heard something that sounded like Jody, not once, but twice, guys. Two times, yeah. All right, I hope we pick some more uh, voices up. Me too. Now, we're gonna go in here uh, completely dark? Yeah, let's go, okay. let's go dark, man. Let's, let's go ahead and challenge it. All right, so before we do this, would you would you like to say a prayer with me? Absolutely. And I think that also, too, if it really doesn't want us here, it probably won't like us praying, but I think that that would actually give us a little bit more protection, too. Two brains, same head, bro. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. All right. Um, if you care to join in a prayer, I always feel it's warranted, and especially when we come to places that, um, you know, that potentially could have some negativity here. So with that being said, if you'd like to join me, I'd like to say a prayer with Jody. And Absolutely. All right. Um, Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, thank you so much for not only being, you know, a part of my life that, that makes my life so much better, but also for the protection that you give me. And I ask, ask for the protection for Jody and I tonight, and also ask for the protection of those who do watch this video as well. It's through you, Christ, I believe. It's through you, Christ, I know all things are possible. It's through you, Christ, that I ask. Amen. All right, Amen. guys. We're prayed up, and uh, we're going to go lights dark. out. All right, bro, you ready? Yeah, I guess. I'm, uh, I feel good now that we prayed. And you know what's weird since we prayed? Did you notice at the end of that prayer, mm -hmm. the air in this room changed? Yeah, something just happened. It, it, there was something. It almost. <laughs> it's like the air was just sucked out of this room. Yeah, like a like very subtle. <sighs> Heart's racing. Right, me too. All right, let's do All it. Right, we're going to go lights out, guys, and uh, see what we capture here. Whatever is here, this is your opportunity. Lights are out. Do you have anything you want to say? Anything you want to do? If you listen, I could hear something like a whisper. It's not like I heard footsteps by you. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. I heard, definitely heard a whisper though. It's me. Okay. <laughs> that scared me. Is that it? You don't have anything you want to say or, or, or do to us? What side of the room? You're, you're, are you by the window? I am. Okay, because uh, I'm looking at the mirror and I could see a reflection back here. Uh-huh. And something went past the mirror. You were here by this right. window. The, so, and I could see from, the, obviously there's a little bit of lighting coming from back there. Something crossed in front of that mirror. Something passed in front of the mirror? It looked that way, like almost like oh, a shadow. Man. See, I wish that my camera had the night vision mode. Usually when I bring them and I hook them up, then I, I look at the footage and I don't capture anything. So it seems like a waste of time. But in situations like that, that would have been so great. Because I did feel something moving around us. I just... Yeah, I just can't really... Didn't experience a, a lot, a lot, but I did hear some things. That was the phone. Whew, that scared me. <laughs> Oops. 
weird. Only three people in the world have this. Um, I think I'm gonna get with the outro right here, bro. Okay, Ben. Um, I'm gonna walk through one last time. I think so too. So, relatively quiet night at Poltergeist trailer. Um, Jody's finishing up his outro, and then I'm gonna just walk through one last time. So, it's kind of kind of weird. Is I I keep getting the impression that someone's gonna come walking up to that door, and I don't know <laughs> why. Oh, what was that that went past my foot? Maybe it was a mouse? I too am going to wrap this up, guys. So, Whew. Whew. All right, guys. Definitely had fun tonight. Did we capture some stuff? I think so. Honestly, really don't know until I play this back. Did want to see uh, Jody's reaction to this place. I think we definitely picked up voices. The thing falling over, I don't know. I mean, that could have been, like I said, from the floor. Uh, voices in here. Sometimes we picked up some really cool stuff. I hope again we did tonight. Do I think this place is haunted? I always thought this place was haunted. I still think this place is haunted. Anyway, guys, uh, please check out our merchandise below at UGUEbrothers.com. Love each and every one of you guys. Have a good night. Peace. Right, Guys, so we were just getting ready to leave, and all of a sudden, when we were going to walk out, um, I did my outro and everything, so you're seeing this before my outro. We were getting ready to walk out, and all of a sudden, like, it was hotter here than it's been the entire time we've been here tonight. I, it feels like a freaking inferno there. Yeah, so I just... So let's see what the temperature see. is. Let's try this one more time. I'm just curious. And Guys, it's so hot that here. It's ridiculous. 86. It's holding this time. Okay. 87. 87. 87. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! I told no. you! No way! It said, it said 105. Bro, did it's it 90... just break my thing? 95? What? You gotta be kidding me. Did that say, oh my god. 99. 105. No way. 101. 101 degrees? Oh, this is so great, man. Bro. This is awesome. No way. All right, Bro, so I love I love this. I love the fact that we came here, said that they were, the mirror was hot, and it is hot as can be. What's Dude, it at right now? it's getting hot in her. What? How is that 140 degrees? 101. You know what? Then over here, where it was cold, what is the temperature? I wonder. Or on this thing, right? Remember? Let's feel that. 86. How is it 86 here and 187? 87, it just changed. Do you see that? It jumped quickly. Oh, that's cool. I got to get one of those. That is so cool. Brother. Dang. That I knew that. Amazing. I knew it was hot. All Absolutely right, so. amazing. All right, cool. All right, guys, so we are on our way out. That makes me happy. I love this stuff. Please do check out Jody Dean, Hunting the Dead. Um, we're going to actually go to another place after this, and uh, I'm hyped about this, too. So hope you guys have a blessed night. Love you guys. Peace.